Hey guys, Dan Carr here from Shuttermuse.com. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to watermark your images in Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to show you three ways because I want you guys to be able to choose the one that works best for your workflow. Although I'm going to tell you right now that I much prefer the third method. I think it's definitely the fastest, particularly if you're going to be doing this with a lot of different images. Now I'm going to be using a logo that was created by the Photo Logo service. If you're not familiar with that company, they do a really great service. Uh, I'll get you a watermark and a logo for your business created really quickly and simply. It's a really professional looking product. Uh, if you don't know about it, hit the link in the description below this video. It'll take you to a review of my experience getting this logo created. So uh, without further ado, let's get on to method number one. So this one is basically working with a file that you've opened as another image in Photoshop. So we'll go to file, we'll go to open, and then we're going to open up our logo file. So here we go. I'm going to open up a white version of my logo here. This is the one created by Photo Logo. Now, in this case, what we could do is hit Command or Command A, sorry, uh, to select all, and then Command C to copy, and then come back to our moose photo here and hit Command V to paste that image on top like that. So that's created a new layer. We can hit Command T, and then hold down the Shift key to maintain the aspect of that. And we can move this around and place it wherever we want. So let's pop it in the middle down here. That looks pretty cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the opacity on this layer over here just to bring that and make it a little bit more subtle. So lower the opacity there. So uh, that's kind of the first part of the first method. So this is working from an individually opened logo file. Now there is actually a second way that we can use that. Uh, let me just trash this layer so you can see this. If we come back to our logo here, in the Layers palette, over on the right-hand side, you can right-click, go to Duplicate Layer. And you might not know this, but you can actually duplicate the layer onto another document. So we can choose our document here from this list, hit OK. And now if we come back to our Moose Photo here, you'll see there it is, that layer's been created. And we can do the Transform command, Command-T, Control-T if you're on a PC, and hit Return to select that and make that a little bit more... Uh, a little bit less opaque, there we go. Okay, so that's that's method number one. So that's working from an individually opened uh, logo or watermark that you already have as a separate file. So let's cancel that, we don't need that. In fact, let's close our moose, we don't need him either. We'll work with some different images here. So actually I'm gonna come over to this one. Uh, this is a black and white photo, we're gonna put a white logo on here. Uh, so this is the second way of putting a watermark onto your image. In this case, we're gonna go up to file, we're gonna go down to place embedded. Okay, so now we're gonna choose that same logo file and hit the place button down there. Now this actually places this logo as a smart object in a new layer on top of your image. So we're gonna hold down the shift key because it comes in ready to be transformed already. So we can hold down the shift key to maintain the aspect. And then I'm just gonna drag that over. Let's put it somewhere like this. And then you hit the return key to lock that in. Again, I'm gonna drag the opacity slider a little bit, make that a little bit more subtle. So there we go, that's that's a second way of adding a logo to your image uh, to create this watermark in Photoshop. All right, let's close this one down. We don't need this one anymore and we're gonna work with this grizzly bit. Now this is my favorite way to add a watermark to an image in Adobe Photoshop CC. I think you guys are gonna love it too. It's a real time saver. But to begin with, we need to do a little bit of setup. Now you're only gonna need to do this one time. What we're gonna do is create a library in Creative Cloud. So this is a library to store frequently used graphic assets. Now we need the libraries panel open. So if you can't see it on the right hand side of your screen, go up to the window option in the menu and make sure you check libraries. Now these libraries are active between different Creative Cloud applications. So if you want to move constantly used files between Creative Cloud applications, you can store them in these virtual buckets which are living basically online and accessible from Creative Cloud applications. Now we're gonna use this drop down menu. We're gonna create a new library. I'm gonna call it watermarks and hit create. So it says drag and drop assets. We need to put our watermarks into this folder now. So what we're gonna do actually is open up a file. Uh, we're gonna use the white logo that we used before. So I'm gonna open that one up. And once you have this file open, you can just take that layer and drag it up into your watermarks library there, okay? So I'm gonna rename this. Let's call this one white logo. Now I'm gonna close this file 
I'm going to open another file, which is the black version. Okay, now you don't have to drag the files in there. You can also click this plus button. So once the layer is selected, you just hit the little plus button and that jumps up there and you can choose graphic. Make sure that's checked and then hit add. Again, I'm going to rename this one black logo. So now in the graphics section of this particular library, Watermarks, you can see I have different ones for various different projects, but in Watermarks, we now have these two logos. So again, I'm going to close this file for now, come back to our bare image here. You can see we've got these two logos over there, and to add this watermark, all we need to do now is click it and drag it over. It comes in uh, with the transform selection already on there, and then you can just hold the shift key down to maintain that aspect. Just drag that over. Let's pop it right in the middle, um, around about there. And again, lower the opacity a little bit. And there we go. So this is the great thing about the assets that are in these CC libraries. They will always be there. So whether or not this panel is hidden or not, you can just find it, choose the watermark section, grab one of your logos, drag it in there. Simple as that. Okay, so if you don't want it, you just press the escape button there. And then we can drag a white one in there instead and hit return. And there we go. We've added that one in there. So if you wanted to uh, do one for potentially on social media, you maybe want a subtle one down the bottom like this. If you wanted to do one to send to a potential client, you wanted to make sure that they couldn't print it before making a decision, you could actually drag a bunch of these in here. Uh, really, well, maybe that's taking things a little bit too far, but just lower the opacity uh, on all of these make it a little bit more subtle so the client can see the image but you know not make any prints of it and not easily crop out the watermark so this is a really great way for adding watermarks to your images in adobe photoshop i think you guys are going to prefer this one but at least now you've seen all the different ones all right hope you found that useful thanks for watching bye bye